Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Devin, if you're new here. I am getting my life together in this vlog. I just got back from 10 days in Europe last night and I have so much stuff to do, obviously. Right now, I am looking at my giant suitcase sitting in my living room that I just didn't have the energy to unpack yesterday. So let's get to cleaning. There's gonna be a lot in this vlog, so definitely stay tuned. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you're subscribed. There's so many people who watch my videos, but they're not subscribed. It helps me out a ton. So let's get to cleaning. <laughs> It's like 5 30 and i just now finished unpacking and putting my clothes away but it's time for a haul when we were in switzerland we didn't really spend much money we didn't have time for shopping and i don't know i only got to shop like the last place that we were at which is called Vitznau on lake lucerne first thing i got was this little bracelet i absolutely love it i have worn it in the ocean um i haven't taken it off since i put it on and it's holding up pretty nicely and the ones that i got in greece both of them snapped like that is literally so evil the other thing i got was this little watermelon because i just love watermelon and it's like a cute little crocheted keychain we love. Portugal is when I did some damage. I think I was just like deprived of shopping. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I got a few things. This was when we went to the castle um, and we were walking back down. On the way down, there were all these cute little shops and we stopped in the ceramic shop and I really wanted to get some like adult coasters. I have other coasters uh, that were in a PR package, but I just think these are just so stunning. And I love picking up things on trips that are like really useful to me. Like this is a useful thing because I just got a new coffee table and I don't want it to be ruined and I can't wait to like host people in my house. I probably will, I think I'm gonna have some people over on Friday, but um, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So I got these coasters and they're so cute. I love them so much. The next thing that I got in Lisbon is for my dad. I am like a useful gifts type of person. So I don't get everyone in my life a present when I go on a trip but um if I find something that I think someone would like I will get it for them so like I didn't pick up anything for my mom or my sisters because I just didn't see anything that you know I just didn't see anything but this my dad loves sardines and Lisbon is like a big sardine place they had this sardine store that had like hundreds of flavors and like concoctions of sardines in these little tin cans so I just got him the basic ones I'm pretty sure he likes sardines and water they didn't have that so I think extra virgin olive oil is like the next best thing um but I think you'll like this and I'm gonna put it in the mail hopefully tomorrow I can put in the mail but they gave this this cute little bag that I'll keep it in um, and I can't wait to see what he thinks about it when he gets in the mail. I'm excited to see how he likes it. I don't personally like sardines, so I didn't get any for myself, but I'm excited to see how he likes it. So I went to Mango, and they don't have those in the U.S. The closest one to me is in Tijuana, and it's like 50 minutes away. And I'm like, uh, girl, you're not going to go into Mexico just to go shopping. So I, they were all over Lisbon, so I could not say no. And I love mango. First things first, I've been needing a belt for so long. And this is like a little brown eyelet belt. I do think it would be useful to have a black version of this. But I just think this is such a cute little chic belt. And I've been needing one for a while. Next, I got this scarf. I'm thinking this will be like a multi-use. Obviously, I can wear it in my hair. I can wear it. I saw this girl do something where she tied scarves around her flip-flops, and it just looks so cute. Um, and I love the color combination of orange and pink. I just think that's quite literally stunning. Could wear this even as a top. <gasps> that's cute. Okay, that's very cute. I love it. Next, I had been really needing a new wallet. I had this pink wallet that I got at a farmer's market and nothing was wrong with it, but it was just very well loved and it didn't have any place for coins. And when you're in Europe, you know, like they always give you coins if you give them cash. Now I have literally all of these coins in here. But anyway, I just wanted to get 
something that would hold all of my coins if I had any cash and it's just perfect it has so much space there's um, a little coin pouch and it's pink my favorite color I saw this crocheted top and I just thought it would be so perfect for the summer even if I wore it with a swimsuit under or I don't know just like on its own with a pair of white pants and that brown belt I just think this is so freaking cute I can't wait to wear it I'm gonna take photos of Lauren tomorrow and I'm going to try on some outfits tonight and maybe this will be in the rotation it is see-through so I'm like well it's not see-through there's holes in it so I'm not really sure how that's supposed to work out but if I get some tape I feel like we'll be fine then I got this little top and I I cannot get enough of the freaking flowers like I got this top in my newly this week as well for this month and it's kind of similar it's a tube top that has a hibiscus or maybe it's a lily on it and I just love it so much I also got this little black dress I think this will just be perfect for the summertime next thing I got is just this little crochet brooch I think I know what I'm gonna do with it I think I want to knit a bucket hat like a white bucket hat and put this on it like right in the front <gasps> that would be so freaking cute oh my gosh but regardless I think brooches are so fun my mom always had brooches growing up and I just thought they were so fun. Like she would just put them on her little church vest and I'm like, wait, that's so cute. So I'm going to figure out what to do with this. Even if I just put it on the sweater, like that is just literally so cute. I love a brooch and I love a hibiscus as we all know. We also stopped in H&M, which I know I have H&M here. I didn't need to get stuff there, but I feel like their stuff was different. First things first is this little tie top. Then I got this because I had been wanting this top that looks very similar to this from Drift Avenue, but it's just far too expensive. And I just like, why would I spend money on that when H&M has quite literally the same thing? So it is a little tank top and I probably would wear it as a tube top because I just think that's so cute. I love the pinstripes and this would look super cute with a pair of shorts that I just got. Even with like white linen shorts that would look super cute. I really love H&M dresses especially the ones with the ties because they're just so cute and girly. I feel like ties are just so feminine. Um, and I love this color, obviously. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, I just got this basic tank top. Um, I'm thinking that I want to have people over on Friday and go to Lahaina's and go for a little drink, a little dance, a little flirt. So maybe that could be a cute top to wear for that. Okay, now that we've done this little mini haul, I need to run to the grocery store because I have no dinner and I'm hungry. I wish that Trader Joe's was on Instacart because I would abuse, use and abuse that so much. But anyway, let's go to the grocery store. Um, I also need to go to the Verizon store to turn off my international plan. You can do like a monthly upgrade or like a monthly fee to have international plan but it doesn't turn off until you turn off until you go into the store and turn it off I'm sure you could do it online or like call them but I kind of think that the guy who works at the Verizon store is a little cute so I'm excited to see him <laughs> anyway let's get Betty and go to the grocery store to get some dinner thanks for tuning in appointment this morning at 8 30 uh so i went to that and then i stopped by target because i'm doing that closet sale on saturday and i needed to get some racks um and i have hangers oh i'm gonna have to take all my clothes off my hangers though that's annoying whatever anyway i also got a tower fan for my living room because i was laying in there like actually sweating and that's just not cute um and it's summertime so you know you got to do those things but my doctor's appointment was actually so interesting because 
I've been going every month just to like make sure I'm on the right track. I feel like this year I really started to take a new approach to my health because in the past I kind of was just like, oh, if I don't know it's a problem, it's not a problem. But now I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to know these things. And not in an unhealthy way, but I'm just like, I would so much rather know than not know. So I haven't had my cycle in such a long time. This is probably TMI, but I don't know. I feel like if this inspires one person to go to the doctor and get that thing figured out, I'm happy to share it. So I haven't had my cycle since November and I have been like losing weight, like not fast, but like I have been like losing weight over the past probably six months um slowly but surely and that's kind of why i go to the doctor just to make sure like i'm on the right track it hasn't been regular since i got off of accutane in 2020 um so yeah or maybe it was 2019 somewhere around like 2019 2020 so it hasn't been regular since then but every time i would think to like go get it checked out it would be really regular for like a few months and then I would forget about it, obviously. So today, or every single month when I go into my doctor's appointment, they ask me when my last cycle was, and I'm like, yeah, it's the same as last time. Like, I haven't had it since November. And they didn't really, like, give me anything, but I also wasn't asking anything. I just kind of was, like, telling them, and they put in the chart. So today, my friend Jess, um, who I was in Portugal with she is a nurse she's an ER nurse and she was encouraging me she was like girl like you just you got to tell them like you have to ask them what's up see if you need to get an ultrasound so I took a pregnancy test today and I'm not pregnant and um you know that would actually be crazy because I am like not scared but like I've heard so much about cryptic pregnancies and I'm like that literally would happen to me but whatever I'm not pregnant and I there's no reason why I shouldn't have my period for the past few months uh, like literally six or seven months at this point so I'm getting a ultrasound um, I have to make my appointment for that and then whenever they get the results back she said that she probably would just put me on a birth control because I'm not on birth control at all I don't know why and maybe some of you guys are like this but being on medication is like I hate being on being on medication even if I'm like sick with a cold I try to tough it out until I'm good like taking medication is literally my last resort because I simply hate being on medication especially after being on Accutane. Accutane was so scarring for me and like just the worst situation ever that I am genuinely terrified of being on medication for a long period of time and birth control is included in that. So yeah, I I kind of am like, I'm happy that I'm finally, that I finally spoken up to like ask about it. Um, I am like a little scared to know because I don't know like I want to be a mom and like your cycle is like very closely tied to your ability to reproduce and that is a scary reality that you know maybe I can't become pregnant or it, it would be a bit more difficult for me so yeah I'm like happy to like finally be in the track to get answers but I'm also still like a little bit scared that I'm not gonna like the answer <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's what I did this morning. And after that, I kind of was like, you know what? I'm just going to have a solo beach day because I need to like unwind. I don't really have too much work to do. I have something that's due on the first, but that is on Monday and today's Thursday. So I'll just finish it tomorrow. And then Roxy texted me and asked me to go to the beach with her. And I was like, oh my gosh, like you are my saving grace because I really wanted to go to the beach today. And it's not that I didn't want to be alone, but um, I don't know. I just like, I feel like if I was there by myself, I would just like fester and think about it um, and not really enjoy my time. So I'm excited to see Roxy because I haven't seen her in a long time. We've been planning to hang out for such a long time, but we've both been gone. She was just in Vancouver and of course I was in Europe. So I'm excited to see Roxy today. I think we should be meeting... I think she was saying she was going to be done at the gym at like 11 so it's 11 10 now i'm going to get dressed i think i'm going to make a little tiktok 
the first one of the season of me getting ready for the beach. Um, if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, you should go follow me on TikTok. I've been posting so much more over there and I get these videos out once a week, but TikTok is like very real time. Like I'm taking the TikTok today. I'm, I'm making the TikTok today and it will be posted today. Today I was supposed to shoot content with Lauren, but she has something that came up. So we decided to push our hangout to tonight because I haven't seen her in a while too. Um, but we're going swimming tonight, like sunset swimming. I'm just gonna be at the beach all day long, which is like the perfect freaking day. The gloom is gone. There's so many things to be happy about, grateful for, so I'm not going to worry myself about what's not worth worrying about at this current time. I'll worry about it when the verdict comes, but I don't know how to feel right now, but regardless, I'm gonna push it to the back of my brain and go frolic on the beach. I'm meeting Lauren in an hour and 15, but I need to pick up a prescription from Costco, which is like 20 minutes away. Yeah, so I probably should leave now. Um, at least I should probably try and fit these in my car now. This thing is huge and my car is tiny, so we're gonna try. <laughs> Why did I do this? It's acting up. It hasn't been acting up. I know it's been acting perfect. being a girl say hey hey girls it's been a long time since you've been on the vlog <gasps> i haven't been in europe that's why <laughs> true <laughs> damn maybe we should be <laughs> here straight away we're waiting at lahaina's look at how many people are there it's a mess do they know who this is yeah give them my name and number <laughs> Maybe they'll let us get the live. <laughs> Hello friends. I haven't really vlogged in the past few days um, because I really wasn't doing anything. Yesterday I sat at my computer all day long because I had some content that was due, some stuff I had to post yesterday. We are deep in the organization era of living alone. The sad reality is that when you live by yourself, there's no one motivating you to be clean in the common areas. Like I feel like I'm so much cleaner when I have a roommate because I'm just like not gonna leave my mess everywhere. But now that I live alone, I just like, my mess is everywhere. Like last night I was walking on my little walking pad while I was watching uh, Love Island. And after that, I got tired and like sat on my couch and all of my stuff was everywhere. I literally fell asleep on my couch, woke up at like 9.30, showered and went to bed and I woke up to a pigsty. Like it was just unreal. So the other day I listed a few things on Poshmark. I don't think it was a ton. It was like 20 items or something like that. And a few of them sold. 
So we're going to first get that together. And then I think I'm going to take down my more wintry uh, sweaters, clothing, because I have no hangers left, which is a crying shame because I just got like, what, 60 hangers? Like, that's a little crazy. So hopefully I can get all of my laundry hung up because I did just do my laundry on Sunday and it's still sitting in the bag. <laughs> At least I did fold it at the laundromat, but it's like still sitting there. So let's get on to the Poshmark packaging. surprisingly well I got my clothes hung up my office is a little bit of a mess right now because I just did a little haul on TikTok but I am now ready to go to the beach I just um yesterday just had to sit at my desk literally all day so I planned for Tuesday to be more of a chill day it's noon and it's so beautiful outside and it feels like a crime to be inside right now so I'm going to go to the beach. Honestly, I have a good bit of time that I can spend there. Um, I really am just going to go until I want to come home. But I think I'm going to go to a more, like, not secluded, but, like, I guess more secret beach. There's really no secret beaches in San Diego. Like, there's nowhere that I can go where there will be no one. But this one, occasionally I go and I'm, like, the only one for a little bit. So let's hope that it can be like that for a long time. I think I also want to bring my water shoes. There's so many rocks over there. So it's like kind of cuts up your feet if you like walk in the water. And I think I want to get in the water. I feel like if it's hot enough, which it is 71 degrees, so it might not be hot enough. But I think I want to get in the water today. I'm going to take photos with Lauren on Friday. And I'm really hoping that they can end in the beach because it's going to be 78 degrees. And I'm so excited, but I'm literally wearing all Drift Avenue. I couldn't help myself. Like this is literally the cutest little set I think I've ever owned in my entire life. I love the, the little flower details and you can wear really any color shoe with them because there's so many different colors. So today I have on these, they're like kind of lime green because I'm wearing this swimsuit, which is also lime green from You Swim, but I'm just feeling so happy right now. Like what? I'm gonna go lay on a freaking beach. And I'm so happy. Like I could not be happier. I've been listening to my day list all day. I feel like sometimes Spotify does me dirty with the day list. Like they're just so awful, but today hit differently. So I'm in the best mood ever. If you didn't know, if you can tell, I'm so happy. Also guys, I really need to figure out what to do. You know what? Literally what I'm wearing right now is just the color scheme of my entire life. Like, I love these colors. Pink, orange, green, blue. Love the colors. But anyway, I can't decide what to do in this little corner. I feel like I definitely need a pillow that's similar to this color to, like, tie it all together. So if you guys know of any shams, is that what they're called? Pillowcases that you really like? I honestly... I'll get a cheap insert, but I just need to find a good pillow case. Maybe I need to look on Etsy or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's neither here nor there because we're going to the beach. it is sunday morning and i just finished editing this vlog i wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching you know this one was all over the place i was trying to connect the dots while i was editing but truly i just i think mentally i was so gone this entire vlog the next vlog i promise will be more cohesive i think i was just not in the best headspace after you know hearing 
that news at the doctor and like it wasn't even really news but just like conceptualizing the fact that you know something's up and something's not working how it should i think honestly that like clouded me for the entire rest of the week i'm definitely feeling a lot better now i have my appointment to get a pelvic ultrasound and that is coming uh towards the end of the month so of course if you want to be updated on it, I will update you guys. It's definitely like a scary thing and I like was honestly crying about it the other day. I was just like, oh, this, that's just like really scary. So I think that's like where I'm at. Moving forward, I'm trying not to let it affect me until I know uh, what I need to know. I'm just, yeah, I have to trust that everything will work out how it's supposed to. I really appreciate you guys for watching this video. Um, if you're watching to this point, comment the ice cream emoji because look at how cute this little robe is. It has ice cream all over it. Is there an ice cream emoji? Yeah, comment the ice cream emoji. I really appreciate you for being here. I hope to see you next week. Subscribe if you haven't. Bye.